Hello, well in this film I'm going to be machine embroidering a blue tit. Now, normally at this stage in a film um, I'd be giving you great confidence saying I've done this before or showing you an embroidered blue tit. But actually the point I want to make in this film is, well, I have never um, done proper embroidery on a machine and I have certainly never embroidered a blue tit. But I think in life you have to try things and you have to perhaps expand your little boundaries a bit. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to have a go at embroidering a blue tit. I think it will probably end up looking more like a parrot. But, um, <laughs> you know, I've got to learn. I've got to try somewhere. So I thought, well, if you see me fail, perhaps that may encourage you to have a go at something yourself. Because I think that sometimes in life we all get a bit scared of trying something for the fear of failure. So here I am on YouTube about the fail. Well, no, I may not. I may make a very nice job of a blue tit, but I think that would be a bit surprising. So I'm using my Oikaki, my Toyota Oikaki um, computer machine, which has this drawing function on it. So I put it into what's called Oikaki mode and the needle can go up and down, side to side, and sort of fill in its only single needle, but it will help me do this embroidery. I'll get going. Perhaps first of all I'll show you a film clip of a blue tit as I have a lot of them around my workshop. So I've got some bird feeders outside my workshop, a fair little way off. And at the moment there's a rather nice collar dove sitting on top. I was just wondering where the blue tits have gone to and of course Tom is down here. So I think our chances of seeing a blue tit are pretty low. I do, however, have a drawing of a blue tit. So just in case you're not familiar with them they're tiny little birds and they look like that so i'll just switch my machine on and i put it into the drawing function mode and i want the needle centered so it's a few little button presses what will now happen is with this machine i say it's a toyota over khaki when i press the foot pedal the needle not only will it go up and down it will also go from side to side and you can paint with your embroidery thread depending on how hard you press the foot pedal. If you press it hard it does a very wide arc, if you press it gently it does almost a straight line. So I've got various embroidery threads so I got a whole selection of these for a ridiculously low sum of money off of eBay and um, hopefully they won't break too much, they're very very cheap ones but I think probably for this they'll be all right. So my first little job is I've got my um, canvas here on a hoop and I've ground the hoop down so I can get it on, onto the machine, get the foot underneath. Um, I'm going to draw my blue tit on this and then I'll start doing like an outline and then try and fill it in. So that's the plan, so to draw it on I think actually I'm just going to use a barrow and just try and do it fairly faintly. So I will do that next to all, clear some space and get drawing. Just check I'm landing in the right sort of place. Yep. I'll fill in some black. So I decided first of all I would go around the edge and I'm just using very little needle swing for this, really just trying to draw the line. I'll put a little bit more swing on the machine now. So I can just press buttons and take the amount of swing up on that needle so it goes side to side a bit more. Okay, that's the skull cap, so we have a little blue skull cap on there. Oh, <laughs> silly me, I've actually drawn a bit too close to the edge, so I don't think I can get completely down at the tail. It's a bit of a shame. I'll probably have to finish that off off frame, but I'll carry on where I can. a bit 
bit more of this blue laid in. So I'm now laying in some yellow colour, which is the breast area. So that's the yellow sort of like the breast set in. I'm going to now put a bit of like yellow foundation up here because I'll go over that with green, but I think it's more of a yellow green. So I'm sort of thinking, let's do it. All right, I'm going to be able to go over that with a green. I need to fill that in with blue actually, which I haven't done yet either. I'm now going to put a sort of hint of green in the back of this neck area. I think my green's quite bold, so I probably don't want to do too much of this, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm just going to make that needle swing a bit more from side to side. So that's the green I have been using. I feel that's a bit strong. I'm going to now go and try a bit of this one, which is more like a gold. There is an awful lot of thread changing doing this. put a bit on the tree branch. Okay so that's a sort of bit of laying a foundation colour on the tree branch. Again I've not left myself enough space in this hoop so I should really be using a larger hoop. Um, I'm going to lay some darker brown over that tree in a minute and I'm going to do some blue infilling next. I'm now going to lay in a bit more, so like a brown this time, over the twig that the bird is sitting on. Oops. So that's the little twig with a bit more filling on it. I'm going to do the top of, top of the wing next. And I'm now just doing a bit more work on the wing. I've just been repositioning the fabric in the frame here. Um, so I have to be a bit careful and it's not quite so taut, but I'll be able to get that tail finished off and hopefully get in to finish off that bit of the twig as well. Well that was quite good fun I must say. Um, that's the finished result. I'm fairly happy with that all in all. It's not perfect by any means but considering I've never done any machine embroidery before I think it just shows actually that any, anyone could you know pick up one of these machines and have a go at something. I'm probably quite surprised actually. It's taken quite a long time doing this. I've been surprised it took me quite a lot longer than I sort of expected it to but it's been great fun doing it and I'm pleased I've had a first go. I now feel I could probably try something slightly more challenging and you learn little things as you go along in terms of how much you let that needle swing and shading and positioning and all that sort of thing. And I need some more bobbins and I probably need some more silk threads as well for the embroidery. But yeah, good fun. And overall, I mean, the threads I'm using, they were off eBay. I think it was something like eight pounds for about 20 different um, spools of thread for 20 different colors. 
which I thought they'd be complete rubbish. But actually, I've had a few breakages, but overall not, not bad at all. So I'd quite happily buy more of the cheap ones. Um, I'm not going to be doing lots and lots of this, but it's good fun and it's something... It has all sorts of applications. I might get some white leather and actually have a bit of fun making a little um, money purse or something like that with it and doing, I don't know, bumblebees and flowers or something simple. It's just a bit of fun. Anyway, there you are, a blue tit <laughs> made on the Toyota Oikaki. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next film. And if you haven't subscribed, I think you should. Bye-bye <laughs> then.